Hello, I'm Genevieve Marchbanks, Head of Policy at the Payment Systems Regulator. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about our consultation on reducing risks to the successful delivery of the UK's new payments architecture, or NPA. Proposed by industry and overseen by Pay.UK, the NPA will be the new way of clearing and settling payments currently made using the BACS and faster payments into bank payment systems. Millions of us collectively make billions of interbank payments worth trillions of pounds each year. The NPA represents a huge opportunity to deliver improved resilience and meet growing demand for digital payments while supporting increased competition and the introduction of innovative new payment services for consumers. Getting it right is hugely important. That's why we want to hear your views on two main steps designed to help realise the benefits of the MPA has to offer, while managing risks to its delivery, launch and operation. First, we think Pay.UK should reduce the scope of the initial central infrastructure service contract that it is using to procure services that will support the replacement of faster payments. In simple terms, we think Pay.UK should only buy the services needed to migrate faster payments for now and tackle the more complex issues around back separately. Through this approach, we think many of the potential benefits for users can be realised more quickly while reducing risks to delivery. This initial contract will also be simpler to negotiate. The second step is to think about the best approach to procuring these services. We think there are three options for Pay.UK. Continue with the current tender, start a new tender, or negotiate directly with the incumbent provider of BACS and faster payments infrastructure. We're also asking for feedback on our thinking regarding risk to competition and innovation in the NPA. Your input will be invaluable as we decide what action to take to ensure the successful delivery of the NPA. The right decisions now will put us in the best position to make sure the MPA offers good outcomes for everyone who uses it. I've written an article to accompany the publication of our consultation, and you'll find links to both in the description. Thank you.